Hi, Chris here from Truly Holistic. Um, in this video, I guess this is a bit of a vlog in regards to um, how much we really know. You know um, the visual spectrum of our eyes and you know of, of the light spectrum that we can actually see with our eyes is only a fraction of 0.005% of what there really is. And when you really think about that for a while, our medical system, a conventional medical system, and a lot of our science is based on what we can see, right? Then the whole reality comes into play that what we think we really know is only a fraction of 0.005% if we use that model of what we see. Which really shows that we don't know much, okay? So this video is about the fact that everything you see and everything you think you know in this reality of what we call real life, it's not an absolute. And I really do urge people out there to question everything because when we're questioning everything, we are enabling ourselves to be very open-minded, right? Not to get too complacent about anything that could be really being a program. A lot of a lot of us we we live we go through life thinking that we live by certain norms or social norms. We don't question enough to think, well, how much truth is it to this? You know, how much the evidence is backed in regards to what we do on a daily, the way we think and what we do on a, on a, on a daily basis in our life. And really, when you sit back to actually be open-minded to a lot of these things and ask these questions, you find out there's not a lot of stuff, evidence to back it up. And again, it just come in, comes back to the fact that we really don't know hell of a lot. Okay? And just by saying that essentially all these models are in place in regards to what we deem as physical is what we can see, and therefore anything out of the physical and what we can't see does not exist, we are saying that we know everything in regards to the light spectrum of a fraction of 0.005%. So, myself, I come from working within modern medicine and this whole reality or approach of looking at everything in a physical reality is very limited. Here at Truly Holistic, with my other hat on in regards to being an energy healer, of course people coming to me and giving me information that they have gained from these mainstream scans, diagnostic tools are very beneficial, there's no doubt about it, gives me information to go on in regards to DAOs and find out, you know, it gives me uh, an edge in regards to, you know, if somebody's coming to me and we want to work on cancer and removing the tumor or removing the cancer cells or, or, or and so on and so on, it definitely does help, but again, it's still not an absolute. Okay, because that scan might show me that I've got a tumor, but what caused that tumor? It's not about just removing the tumor. It's, it's, it's wondering why the body got into the environment of developing a tumor. Like a tumor, a tumor is an expression of something that's happened within the body. We need to find out why it's expressing a tumor, why it's expressing cancer cells. If somebody gets a rash on their skin, it's not just about putting a cream on their skin, it's about, that's the expression of the body. Why is your expression of a rash on the skin? It's not just about treating the skin, it goes deeper than that. Not just on a physical plane, but on an energetic plane, an energetic reality. So, you know, diagnosis can quite often be of a condition as a label. Okay, or you're being branded with a particular name that really 
that is really based on a group of symptoms. Uh, you know, a, a doctor, a medical pro pro uh, professional, or anyone that lives by the, the, the physical model, seeing is believing, is based on, hey, you've got some of these symptoms that go in this group of what this condition is. We'll, we'll give you this condition. We'll say you have this. Might be fibromyalgia, maybe chronic fatigue syndrome, and a number of other. And I'm pretty sure people understand that when the word syndrome is put on the end of it, they really don't know what is causing that problem. Okay. So, here at Truly Holistic, you'll notice that people that have had sessions with me, at the start of the session, I ask about uh, how you feel. Okay, obviously I ask a bit of a better medical history and those sorts of things, for sure, it comes into play. But really what the biggest core part of the information I'm going to get from you is how you feel. Because these are, these are the, the symptoms that the body is channeling to you to tell me or whoever you are collaborating with in regards to getting well again. Because it's not about giving your responsibility to someone and saying, hey, here you go, you do whatever you like with it to make me feel well as long as I'm cured or I'm fixed. It's a, always going to be a collaborative effect and, and the uh, responsibility of both the, the healer and the client need to be connected up. And the whole healing process is a journey. It's not a cure. It's not an immediate fix. It, just like the process of you becoming ill didn't just happen overnight. It happened over weeks, months, years, decades in a lot of them. A lot of situations then the point from there and the journey of getting well again and getting back to where you should be why do both people just believe that there has to be a cure to fix of one session one day no it's another journey it's a process to go through and you have to be part of that process as well as the healer so when I'm getting the information on how you feel this is your body communicating to you, and then you're communicating that to me, because the body's intelligent, okay? Symptoms is just the body's ability to communicate to you, okay? So, hence, doing a treatment of nullifying those symptoms is just numbing your body's ability to communicate with you, okay? So, it does not make sense, but it's a great way to just be an active listener at that point as a healer to take on those particular words that you are voicing, what your body's voicing to me, to try and help you with that health problem. So, as I say, scans like MRI scans, CT scan, x-rays are wonderful, but they're not an absolute in regards to the condition, because just the fact of you being branded with a label, or, uh, you know, or branded with a particular name of a condition, can really be a program within your subconsciousness and your consciousness that you're always going to go back to. And if you keep going back to it, you might not know that you're kind of remanifesting that problem by that label or that brand. Okay. So quite often here at Truly Holistic, when you've got a chronic condition, I have to go to your conscious mind or your subconscious mind and remove the brand or the name of that condition to help you heal. Okay. Because doing it that way can actually cause harm to you. Uh, also, for example, somebody comes to me for diabetes, okay? Now, I might have a, 10 people come to me for diabetes, but then they have the set of symptoms that is kind of goes within that bracket of what diabetes is. But Every person of those 10 people that have got diabetes could have diabetes for all completely different reasons. So hence, it's not an absolute, you just don't put everyone under one bracket, under one bubble. Everyone is an individual. Just like the question I get, what, what should I be eating? What's the right diet? Is there a diet for humanity? There's not a diet for humanity. Everyone's an individual. Everyone needs, again, it's a journey. It's a process where you have to find out what works for you and what doesn't. And the big question is, well, how do I know that? Well, you listen to your body. 
Okay. Sadly, we have a lot of things in place like too many pharm uh, reliance, uh, reliance on pharmaceutical drugs and conditions and treatments that dumb our body down. It removes this this loop of communication the body's trying to give you, these symptoms. You need to rejoice with that. When you're eating, trying to figure out what I should be eating and what I not should be eating, listen to your body. Okay, because your body will tell you whether it's not right for you or it is. Of course, there might be things, roadblocks in the way that is creating a reaction within your body, such, for example, a leaky gut, and you need help. You know, whether that's from me, a quantum energy healer, or a, a herbalist, or a, um, a naturopathic doctor, or a medical doctor. Uh, we all have our roles to play, and 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 the healing leaky gut. But for the most time. We just need to learn a, and, and reestablish this communication with our body, listening to it, because it will tell you the answers. Obviously, a big thing here at Truly Holistic is I'm a truth seeker, okay? And me just trying to eradicate symptoms is, is uh, does not make sense to me, as you probably would have expected with me talking about it in this video. I want to know the core reasons, okay? And, and if I'm going to find the core reasons of why we're ill and why people get sick, then I need to be open-minded. And essentially, this system that I have here is very open-minded. And, you know, I had a question from a client today in regards to, you know, a lot of people deem that, you know, I, I've been into spirituality for a very long, very long time, and it, was not that way and for anybody out there is on the fence at the moment figuring should I give this a go or not I'm being a little bit skeptic about it that's perfectly normal you know we, we are brought up in a reality where we've been programmed all our life from the day we were born uh, you know schooling is, is really a big programming system to what's normal what's abnormal what's right what's wrong we're just being told instead of allowing our individual minds uh, and uh, you know, our experience to figure that out. We, you know, we, 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 we need to seek the truth, okay? We, we, we need the chance to do that and be open-minded. And, you know, for me, you know, I, I was a skeptic, you know, and Really, getting into this energy work really leapfrogged me into spirituality. It wasn't the other way around. You know, I was dowsing, uh, using divining rods and using color therapy to treat people with infections, you know, physical issues, which I thought at the time was, you know, uh, infections are, are, are definitely a very energetic um, phenomenon now that I've learned. But, uh, you know, and I used to use colored cottons to treat people with infection, especially viruses. I had tricky with them because they were uh, polymorphic. They would change their vibration at the time, and I have to change colors all the time, and it really got frustrating. At the time, I didn't realize that there was this whole spirituality thing of entities and negative energies that were manipulating that frequency. So therefore, you know, I, I wasn't aware at the time that using the color therapy and it. Now I realize that, you know, with anybody that has these chronic infections, we need to remove the negative energies. We need to remove the entities, the, the ones that are in, uh, using negative intention to allow that infection to be there to start off. We need to clear all that out as well as getting rid of the infection. So going through that whole process has enabled me to be more uh, spiritual because as I said earlier in the session, it's if we can just deem on everything being a physical reality, when we are we are just covering our eyes to a majority of our reality, because as I say, our eyes have a light spectrum of visuality of a fraction of zero point zero zero five percent. So. You know, we, we, you know, spirituality has to be a given in regards to anything open-minded and anything uh, that is fully committed to finding out the root causes of health problems and eradicating them. And that's what I do here at Truly Foster. Anyway, 
I thought uh, I'd do that video there um, in regards to that and uh, please keep in mind if you are on the um, edge of booking an appointment with me and giving it a go you've got nothing to lose there's no harm done with the clearings that we do like a lot of other um, mainstream models yeah there's no side effects involved here okay and at the same time what I love why I love doing this work is, is obviously healing people of their problems but allowing uh, an opportunity to you to learn more and for both of us to learn together and I have I have clients where I'm learning a lot of information from my clients it's a I'm not an authority here I'm a student just as much as anybody else and do I know everything of course not and I don't think we'll ever know everything it's the beauty about this journey is about learning and we need to keep learning and uh, this is a, a, a process that's occurring in my dowsing and my energy healing here and uh, you know every week I'm finding new information you know because energy shifts energy changes you know um, there are veils being lifted all the time this whole ascension movement things are opening up to humanity more often and um, it's exciting times and uh, I've loved the fact that a lot of people that have subscribed to my YouTube channel, people that have followed me, had sessions with me, um, yeah, it's great that you've been a part of this process as well and I look forward to the future and finding out more information and, and helping you eradicate your health problems. Thank you.